that Benjamin Moore has a paint app. If you put that right up to my face, I'm actually toasted almond. <laughs> so when I met my uh, in-laws, who are Caucasian, I did introduce myself as an almond joy. Brown on the outside, white on the inside, a little bit nutty. <laughs> I don't break the in-laws. So I have to admit, I had someone yell out their order, I think last week when I was speaking at a conference, and the individual yelled, skinny, white, tall. And I honestly responded, that's how I describe my husband. <laughs> it's not like your parents sat you down and said, Eddie, you're gonna actually pump someone's hand exactly two times, and that'll be a good handshake for you. No, we do not do that. Why would we want to do that? Yeah, I don't know, you just do it. We are a pride and joy. Why would we interrupt the conversation? I have no idea. We don't interrupt. Yeah, you do. We don't interrupt. Yeah, you do. We don't interrupt. Yeah, you do. Okay. But if we're interrupting, it is only to add some actual value to this conversation. <laughs> I'm a big believer of relationships. And if you can communicate more effectively, create those relationships and understand people's values, you can start using that information to work collectively on a holistic approach within your own city. So, the most important value that you need to understand when it comes to cultural differences is the differences between individualism and collectivism. You'll notice that the ones that I've highlighted are all the top source immigrant countries, and they're all collectivist. Not a surprise, the most individualistic country in the world, and it's not a negative or a positive, is the United States, with Canada being the most individualistic number five. So we're pretty darn close on the individualism scale. If you need a very quick tip and can't figure out if someone is individualistic or collective, think of how you would order in their restaurant. If you were to order Chinese food based on how you order that food, what do you think a Chinese individual is? Collective or individual? Collective, you got it, because you would order family style. So, I just mentioned that the very first thing that we do when we meet somebody for the very first time is to shake their hand. First impressions are made in seven seconds or less. Before I even spoke today, you would have had a positive or negative impression based on me, 100% on nonverbal interaction. Nonverbal in this case, what I'm wearing, maybe if I shook your hand, whatever it might be. And I want them to honestly tell me, based on the handshake alone, what their impression of me is based on handshake alone. Got it? Yes. Okay, Larry, based on handshake alone, impression of me. Kind of weak Sh handshake. <laughs> There's no grasp there, you just held your hand out. Okay, so your impression of me is I'm kind of weak, and you kind of, the way he's looking at me too, it's like, well, you're kind of weak. You're kind of yeah, weak. Yeah, but I, I met her before and she wasn't like that. <laughs> Table. That's why she knows us. I know. I had to pick on you. Okay, you're going to pass it on Jane. Jane, I'm going to shake your hand. Honestly, tell me your thoughts on me. Handshake alone. If you were meeting me for the first time, what are you thinking of me? Just based on that. I would say very nervous. Okay. Also, um, maybe very unsure of what's going on. That sounds right. Very nervous <laughs> and unsure of what's going on. Okay, you're going to pass it on to Gilbert now. Gilbert, honest. First impressions based on me, handshake alone. Uh, indecisive. Indecisive. Did any of those impressions sound positive? Our first impression was made seven seconds or less. All of those were a very negative impression. The handshake that I just gave all of you is very indicative of first generation Chinese immigrant. Usually simply placing the hand in the hand. Some people have um, described it almost as, as a limp fish. In essence, when I've, I do a lot of research, primary research, and when I've asked the why behind it, they said, I didn't want to hurt your hand. What are you thinking of me then now, Larry? I think you're very uh, upfront, yep. uh, solid, uh, a good handshake. I know a good handshake when I, I get one, and that was a good one. <laughs> <laughs> very Larry. firm and very uh, confident. Yeah, I love Larry Gilbert. Confident type A personality. <laughs> Confident type A personality. 
indirect communicators is where a yes might mean no. In the Filipino language, which is Tagalog, there's a word. The word is E1. E1 means yes or no. I'm like, oh my gosh, that's the best word ever. Do you want the dessert? Absolutely. I just don't want the calories, E1. Like, this would work. I like this word. We'd never think in a million years that we just got a massive message of no. The unspoken word with indirect communicators is the most important of all. Bernard Baruch said, we may have all come over on a different ship, but we're all in the same boat. Thank you very much, everybody.